in Cheshire. Police Special Lawrence Towers is three months into his new role. He's locked up a violent man and dealt with a teenage shoplifter. His next task, a Saturday night car patrol. Tonight, Lawrence is on shift with experienced PC Phil Reeves. Jump in and we'll get going. Soon after heading out, the automatic number plate recognition system flashes an alert. There's a suspect vehicle up ahead. After doing a check on it, it come back as having uh, no, no MOT, no tax, pretty much ticked all the boxes for, for a car that needed to be stopped. The driver disappears down a side street, so Phil puts his foot down. There's nothing on this one. I've been on down here, so let's knock all this off. Phil calls for backup. We lost it um, at, the, at the garage, it did a, at the U turn at the garage. Um, we lost it there. Luckily, another patrol has spotted the same vehicle nearby. The sergeant in the uh, unmarked uh, Beamer has uh, it's just pulled it over. It's Lawrence's first vehicle stop, a chance to learn how to deal with a potential road traffic offender. Come check the tax on the car at the front there. Matching the registered car, isn't it? Yeah. And it's valid until. Mm -hmm. Checks reveal that the car was taxed and MOT'd just hours earlier, which explains why it wasn't on the police national computer. But the situation still presents an opportunity for Phil to teach Lawrence a new skill. We're going to breathalyze you. You have to provide a sample of breath for analysis. Your breath alcohol levels above 35, you'll be arrested. Yeah. Alright, so big deep breath. Failing a breath test could result in a 12 month driving ban a £5,000 fine, or even a six-month jail sentence. So wait, I started to analyse that now. Sample taken. After a matter of seconds, the result comes through. Okay, zero. Okay. The driver's free to go, and the officers return to their patrol. Let's go. Bang on. But the night doesn't get any quieter. Within minutes, Lawrence spots a driver committing a dangerous offence. This uh, taxi just goes through a red light, blatantly, with a marked police car behind him. Go have a way with it. When he jumps the red light, the driver's taxi back almost hits a car. Hello, oh, sir, and step out of the vehicle. We'll go to the other side of the vehicle. Do you know why you've been stopped? No, mate. Just got through a red traffic light. It was green. It was red. Which is why that other car cut across your path, because they're on green. You're a professional driver, you need to stay, start spending a bit more time watching what you're doing. Lawrence is about to book his first driver. Just cautioning. Yeah. yeah. Point, point out the offence that you've witnessed. Yeah. Right? And ask him if you want to make a reply to that offence. And if you make a reply, you can note that, note that reply, ask him to sign that reply, alright? Okay. As a rookie, Lawrence is continually assessed. He needs to get it right. You'll be reported for consideration the question of prosecuting you for the offence of contravening a red light. Oh. Good evening. The motorist will have to attend a driver awareness course or face points on his licence. Lawrence played his role perfectly. His mentor likes what he's seen. Happy days. He's keen, he's forward, but he's brilliant. I'm really impressed with him and uh, they can go places, I really do. Lawrence is finding volunteer policing even more rewarding than he expected. Definitely plan on um, going out as much as I possibly can, developing, getting new skills, getting new experiences. I think if I ever have to give this uniform back, it would be a very, very sad day.